the state's coastline in 2015. In 2015 alone, there were 98 unprovoked shark attacks around the globe. The United States bore the brunt. Of the record high 59 attacks, 39 took place on the East Coast. Since the 1930s, governments have relied on shark nets, baited hooks called drum lines, and outright hunting to keep sharks away from popular beaches. But oftentimes, these methods haven't worked, and they are killing massive amounts of sharks, as well as countless other protected and endangered That's species. The part, see, the part, the Our kid comes about nine years old, and I was watching Shark Week, and there was this terrible image yeah, that came works. across the screen of a shark entangled in a net. Sharks need to continue swimming in order to breathe. This restricts their swimming. Black and blue. Why does it care about sharks? The problem is that these nets are not only killing large sharks, but they're killing marine mammals, they're killing sea turtles, they're killing other fish, they're killing birds. Oh. That horrific image set Dr. Craig O'Connell on the path to a scientific breakthrough, an invention that could replace shark nets for good. He's headed out to a place called the Hammerhead Headquarters in the Bahamas to test a key element of his design. He's joined by Australian Navy diver Paul De Gilder, who has a strong interest in Craig's technology. No, I'm going to make sure. In April 2009, De Gilder was swimming in Sydney Harbor as part of a training shirt. exercise. Oh, when you don't care what you're saying? And chill through his knees and tell you that one. Yeah. 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 And chill through his knees and tell you that one. Yeah. And chill Honestly, I thought I was dead. Fortunately, yeah, I was cognizant enough that I had training great enough coffee's to ready. Huh? On what? I said my coffee's ready. Coffee's ready. No choice but to end coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <and work. laughs> coffee. Yeah. As a scientist, I was focused on a problem. I had tunnel coffee. vision. And my key thing that I was looking at was trying to save sharks. <laughs> All the kids have tubes put it in their ears to have the whole day. Now they're up. Did they like it? They're sleeping. They were sleeping all day. Mason fell off the couch twice. He rolled over. Oh, hammerhead shark. Okay, that's weird. That's a hammerhead shark, you idiot. It's a hammerhead shark. Oh, that's weird. It looked like it swallowed a hammer. Shark week. Chris needs to prove that his magnets do repel hunting sharks, so he's going to hide one in a rubber stingray, a hammerhead's favorite food. Do you think that a couple of magnets inside a fake stingray may oh, not yes. is going to stop a hammerhead shark from attacking? The thing is, is I've never ran this experiment with magnets inside a stingray. I'm tired, I have no idea either. Seven foot ten? Well, I'm with you, I'm with you. 11, 11, 12, 11, 12, 11, 12, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12